Hey there YouTubers. All right, so in this video we're going to update the BIOS on the ASUS H410M-A micro ATX motherboard. I've had this a uh, couple months now. Uh, out of all the 10th gens I have, uh, it sees very little use. But uh, you know one thing I haven't done is a BIOS update video for it. So that's what we're going to do here. Now if you were to go to your search bar down here and type in sysinfo, that would bring up system information as shown here. And you can see your BIOS information, okay? So uh, here it is, August. This is one of the earliest BIOSes for this. So we're going to go get a, uh, a new BIOS. Now, things you're going to need for this are... Um, oop, actually, we're here already. Oh, it's the wrong one. So very important that you search for the right motherboard. It's actually good that that popped up that way. All right, so I was hoping to do this in one camera shot, basically. We're actually using a capture card here, but uh, Pierce, I've already screwed a couple things up so uh, that's what we want and there it is so one thing I haven't done is installed all the drivers to this motherboard and this is the place you would do that as well as well as see what uh, RAM CPUs and other things solid states are compatible at least I believe that's also here but uh, definitely CPU and memory so when we come in here we want to click on driver and utility and then this BIOS tab here so you see that July 7th that was a month ago they had an update um, not necessarily sure what that is but uh, we want the BIOS so obviously this one is newer we're going to click download. Now, what you need is a good thumb drive. Um, my thumb drive is going to have a ton of crap on it. And, you know, sometimes people suggest uh, not having anything on the thumb drive, right? That would be nice if uh, I didn't need my thumb drives. Uh, in this case, though, it's got a lot of stuff on it. Now, this is an Adida. Uh, let's just look at what it's been formatted to, FAT32. Now, will this work for every one of them? I can't guarantee it. Uh, what I will say is if you buy a good quality USB drive and do this FAT32 formatting to it, that uh, you should be good to go. All right, so we have that ready. And before I move on, actually, it's always good to plug these in directly to the motherboard, not to the uh, computer case, okay? Uh, one out of 20 times for whatever reason it may not work so um, it's always a good idea to just go straight to uh, USB 3.0 so I'm gonna hit download and I'm gonna download it directly to our thumb drive And voila, so I'm going to click on this open folder button. And there it is. Now, this is zip file. Your BIOS is not going to find it in a zip file, so you have to unzip it. So right click, select extract all, and then extract. And they've done a nice job of naming this folder, so you will be able to find it. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the zip file so I don't forget about it. Just taking up extra space along with all these uh, gaming videos that I've done all right so there's our file and it'll be easy to find in a moment now we are going to uh, reboot oh no update and restart we don't want to do that so I may have to um, I may have to pause this video. You guys don't want to sit through an update. I just I just did an update and I'm amazed I'm doing another update. All 
All right, so uh, restarting the computer now after the update. Um, hit and delete key, and we'll be in the BIOS. So here's our BIOS. Now this is a uh, easy mode, as it says on top, and um, we want to go to advanced mode, and we want to go to tool. And then there it is, Easy Flash 3 Utility. Now, there's all kinds of different BIOSes out there, uh, for, excuse me, ways to update the BIOS. Some of them may have three different techniques, some of them may only have one, all right? And in this case, uh, this motherboard probably only has the one. Now, before we proceed, let's talk uh, things that can go wrong with this, okay? So, if you are in the middle of bad weather I do not recommend you do this if there's any fear that you will have a uh, power loss I recommend you not do this if your computer is on a uh, some kind of backup battery backup device that would probably be best uh, at least from the aspect of uh, you know as you're going through this process if the power does go out you uh, have that to supply power to the computer now uh, what else can go wrong? So, potentially, you could do this BIOS update and your situation is worse. Okay, so a lot of people are doing BIOS updates to uh, improve their hardware compatibility, right? Sometimes there's a additional security feature. There are umpteen million reasons why the BIOS update can be done. Things to look for that we didn't really spend a lot of time on because there was only one BIOS and one BIOS file in there is looking at previous BIOS files. Sometimes you'll see it says you must update this BIOS revision before you do a, uh, a newer one. Okay, so look for that note. If that's the case, you have to do that BIOS first, that BIOS revision update, and then move on to the newest one. Now, if it doesn't say anything like that, you want to grab the newest BIOS and you're going to get cumulatively all the good stuff from the previous ones. All right. What else? Um, so sometimes you do a BIOS update and things actually get worse. Or they might not be worse, but you think they're worse. So uh, I have had the uh, PCI Express 3.0 by 16 just shut off, right? It would no longer work after a BIOS update. Um, and I had to go back and put the uh, older BIOS back on there until they released the newer BIOS. Other people, you know, may have issues with their hardware actually gets worse. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, if you're good with these uh, risks that you're taking, uh, then I would say proceed. Do a weather check and let's move on. So, um, why did I just spend, you know, five minutes talking about all this stuff? because it's it's important folks and uh, you know I may get those comments down below oh the BIOS update actually starts at 8 minutes and 30 seconds or whatever but uh, you this is serious business when you're doing this because you can brick your motherboard so uh, you see all these drives over here um, you know both of these are 64 gigs and uh, one of these has the BIOS file on it. I'm going to assume it's this this one here. And lo and behold, there's our folder. And we want to click on it one more time. Do you want to read this file? Heck yeah. Do you really want to update BIOS? So after this, you're probably not going to have to text the mouse for a little bit. So we're going to say yes. And I would step away from your computer, okay? Make sure there are no cats in the room, dogs, little kids, anybody that could um, interrupt this, okay? Um, and I'm going to actually record this all the way through. That's one good thing about the capture card. The quality of the picture is a little better than what I've done in the past. And uh, We also, you know, can record this from another computer. So you can see all the reboots and everything that happens. So I'm going to be silent for a moment or two. And uh, I'll be back.
All right, so hopefully you guys saw that. Um, BIOS update was successful. It was going to reboot. And at least let's hope that it was successful. So, does appear it wants to go into the BIOS. Go ahead and click F1. Now we're in here, and I really don't, you know, want to mess with anything in here. Uh, it may have re reset my RAM speed, so that is uh, something you know you'll want to check. And it does look like it did it. It's almost like doing a uh, CMOS um, reset when you do these. Sometimes things change. So I've got a Pentium in here, max RAM speed is 2666 even though the RAM is capable of 3200 and I'm gonna hit exit and we should be able to get to Windows before we do that though um, part of the whole reason for coming in here folks was uh, to show you something there's our new BIOS okay uh, Looks like June 12, 2020, even though the website had said uh, July, so it took them a while to put it up. They probably did some testing. And that's going to do it, folks. I hope you got something out of this. Please like. Please subscribe. Thank you.